I was looking for a black person. <laughs> look at a lot of like TV shows or you look at adverts I guess in order for the media to be progressive they have like progressive families so it's always like a black dad and a white mom and mixed race children blah blah, blah. these are these um perceptions are important because obviously there are people with those families but in the same way it's important to see those like like strong and united like black family units as well If a black woman's like, I only want to date a black man, it's because she doesn't want to have to deal with the fetishization that comes from dating white people or the racism that comes from dating white people. Do you know what I mean? There are legitimate reasons why you do not want to enter a relationship like that. Anytime I kind of ventured out, so to speak. The same way that you go to work and you're not entirely comfortable because predominantly the places that we're going to be working in this country are going to be majority white, the vast majority white. The one place that I can kind of be myself completely is my relationship when I'm with Shante. Whenever a black man is seen with a non-black woman, he's generally going to be seen as a sellout. And I think that goes back to the whole kind of choice thing. As a black man, I'm not sure whether this goes as far as um, relationships, but definitely from a kind of getting to know people perspective or kind of getting with perspective, I do think that black men on some level and in certain spaces can kind of have their pick, which might not necessarily be the case for black women. Black women can date white men peacefully and that's the end of the story. But when a black man dates a white woman, oh gosh, the whole of the world and the universe and all of the surrounding planets need to know about it. Do you know what I mean? We have to know, oh, black women are loud. Black women are na na. Okay, if people are in love, they're in love and that's great. But there's something really strange about trying to like um, sensationalize or commodify an interracial relationship. And it makes me really uncomfortable and so I feel like that in the same way that you're gonna do your oh like interracial couple goals stuff we should also be promoting and looking at ideas of black love Come here. Naked, naked. It's saucy! <laughs> <laughs> Very steamy. You see like white bodies intimate on TV a lot um, and I feel like even when you think of like rom-coms and stuff mm. they're always surrounded like about like a white guy and a white girl. Black bodies are like heavily sexualized as well seeing black bodies intimate feels like 50 times worse it almost feels rude but it shouldn't because it's, mm. it's just as natural as anything else i'm not saying that we should only have the black nuclear families because obviously like what if you're a queer person of color or you're a queer black person and where are your narratives you know what i mean in general black love across the board needs to be presented mm. more whether <clears> it's like people co-parenting whether it's like two parents of the same gender whether it's a black man black woman like we need those narratives the same way white people have all the narratives under the sun.